Hi everybody, this is Jenny from Gen Zen with a Zen Bite. I know if you were like me, you have mail sitting in your stack that you've looked at all week long and haven't really done anything with. So today, I'm going to show you how to deal with that. This is a stack of mail. It's a mess. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it into three different parts. Advertisements, stuff sales papers and coupons and stuff that has to be dealt with so let's see coupon stuff that has to be dealt with dealt with dealt with dealt with papers coupons and papers and coupons and papers and coupons and papers and papers and coupons envelope coupons papers and coupons stuff. See what happens when you let it sit and take up space for a while? You get all this horrible nasty stuff and then you're like, what am I going to do with all of this? Well, this is how we're going to handle this. Magazine, mail, mail, junk, mail. There. Okay, so now we have it in a few different stacks. Let's start with the easy one, which will be the smallest one, which is also the most important. Mail. Alright, so this is mail. Since this is something I'm going to have to deal with, I'm going to put it with the envelope wrapped a bit next to it so I don't lose it and put that to the side because it's going to go in a box to be dealt with. That's an advertisement. So I'm going to tear it in half. I'm going to put that in the trash pile. Let's see. Open this. And this is another that needs to be dealt with. So again, I'm going to take the envelope and wrap it around the side. Just so they're all in there together. Toss the envelope it came in because it doesn't matter. Healthcare cards. Need to put those away. Okay, another envelope I can toss. Alright, receipts. Because I file my receipts. Keep up with the receipts and file them so you have them for taxes. Then again, we have another one, again with an envelope on it, so that they can all go together. Alright, list that I might need later. Alright, those are all related. Put those together. And more mail. Okay, something that needs to be filed. All right, let me tear that up. All right, coupons. We're going to set the coupons to the side because we'll deal with them in a minute. So again, we've got stuff. We're going to put the envelope on it, set it to the side. Toss the old envelope. Alright, pre-approved MasterCard. That's going to go away. Again, we're going to toss that and send it to the side. Okay, what's this next one? And we're going to, again, put the envelope on it, set it to the side. See, so we're already making progress. This has got to be filed along with that. And that's a keep one we're going to use for later. Okay, so now we have all of the ones that have to be dealt with set aside. So we're going to put those out of the way for now. Now we're going to start looking at this other stuff to see if it's important or not. So these are coupons. So we're going to set this in the coupon stack. This is not a coupon. This appears to be some sort of magazine. Let's see what it is. This has to do with an investment, so we're going to put that with the stuff that needs to be taken care of. Now, let's go to all the newspapers and things that come in the mail. I'm going to glance through these and see if anything is in here something that we're going to use, because if you're not going to use, there's no point in even going through it and finding the coupons. All right, and this says Memorial Day, which is past now, so this entire stack can be tossed. All right. 
right, let's see. Again, this is a coupon book. Not seeing a whole lot here I'm going to use, so I'm going to toss that. Oh, yes, we're going to win a car. I don't believe that. We're going to toss that. So, let's see, next group. Okay, dokie, Greek pizza. Let's see what the expiration date is on this. Oh, it doesn't expire to the end of July, so that's possible. No, 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 no. Okay, so all the no's can go. All right, there's a Papa John's coupon that I will want, so I'm going to put that with the coupons. All right, Victoria's Secrets, dearly love. I'm going to go with the stuff that needs to be looked at because I'm going to read it. Let's see, this would be... The local newspaper. I'm going to read that so that goes with the stuff that has to be dealt with. Alright, again, let's see. Coupons. Anything I'm going to actually use? Not right now. Alright, Sam's. Again, let's see what the ooh, date is. Of course, it helps if you open little sticky things first. Alright, this is all summer stuff. through April 19th, it's gone. Obviously, I haven't done things in a while. All right, McDonald's ended in April. Prescriptions never expire, so put that there. Again, more stuff I'm not going to use. Let's see, Mattery Dental. It's expired. Okay. Oh, another one with another key. Toss that. Alright, that's a letter from my insurance company. Let me put that where it's stuff that needs to be dealt with. Alright, another set of clipper stuff. Not going to use. Let's see, Burger King. I don't like very much. But it's good through the middle of June, so I might take that to work and see if somebody else wants it. Same thing with the Wendy's. Let's see what they're good through. This is good through Jim, so we'll do that. Alright, let's see. This is good through June. Dominoes. Expired. Expired. That goes with the healthcare stuff that needs to be dealt with. Let's see, this is why you go through this stuff. And you need to do it once a week, which obviously I've put off for a week or two, mostly in the spirit of doing this. All right, election day, done that. Or Sam's, let's see what this was. Papa's Pizza, let's see. These don't expire to the end of the month of June, so we'll keep those. So if there's anything else we actually have to have. Nope, that can go. Another one of the papers that I want to read. Alright, these have expired. And now we're done. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the coupons and put all of them in the same spot. I have a clip for those. I'm going to take the, put this with work stuff and get these things filed away and then all that's left is the ones that you have to take care of so i hope this helped if it did please follow me on twitter at uh, jen's and nola n-o-l-a check out my facebook page jen's zen j-e-n apostrophe s zen z-e-n or check out my web page as well jen's Zen. That's J E N S dash Z E N dot com. Thank you for listening. I'll send you a new tip next week.